Hey gearheads, welcome back to BZB TV. This is Nate back here from the support team bringing you another video and today we're gonna to be talking about and doing a little demonstration on how to use one of our brand new encoders, the BG-Stream-E, to encode it into NDI. Uh, this encoder can encode to multiple streams like NDI, Dante, RTSP, RTMP, and just take a HDMI uh, source like a camera that's non-NDI or any of those streaming protocols and convert it in, uh, into a network protocol. But for today's video, we're gonna just demonstrate how to do the NDI portion of it. If you need some more specs, specs about the, the, the encoder, check out the link below, and there'll be other videos on a little more overview of the encoder, but today, st strictly just talking about NDI. So, let's go ahead and dive in. First of all, setup. As you can see, we have our Adamo 4K camera. It's not NDI, not Dante, just a straight 4K camera. Um, and already we have the HDMI out coming out of the camera, going to the HDMI in into the streaming encoder. Uh, the stream encoder is PoE, power over ethernet, so it's powered up by network switch I'm using. So it's really easy for setup. There are additional power supply if you need it, but it's great. Um, you, if you just need to run some cat cables, you're good to go. I have everything plugged into our local, I just have a little unmanaged switch off to the side, plugged into our local network, so I could get this NDI into my local network. And uh, everything is operated in the web GUI of the stream encoder, so let's go ahead and dive into that. So like I mentioned, everything's connected to our local network. I have my computer plugged into th through the network over LAN cable into the switch, as well as the stream encoder. What's great about the stream encoder, it comes uh, DHCP enabled, so it's gonna provide you an IP address if it's plugged into uh, your local network. And the best way to find it is do um, an IP scan based on the, maybe the MAC address, or uh, you have your network switch to kind of find out what IP address it is. And so diving into my computer, I already know that the IP address of this is 192.168.10.144. That's local to us. And boom. So login is admin. And then actually it's four zeros for the password. That's the default. And we are rocking and rolling. So as you can see on the first page is we get to select our source. I'm gonna select HDMI, um, I'm gonna hit apply. So you can see I have the HDMI going into um into the device and so when the first time you hit apply the device is going to reboot to capture all the settings of the input device so it's rebooting right now all right the device rebooted so i need to go ahead and re-log in oh cat blocks are on admin zero 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 okay we're back in and so first thing i want to do is just check the status of my hdmi signal we are good Here's our device, and then the highest resolution this supports is 1080p at 60. Um, so our, my source is good, it's reading it, everything looks good. And so just kind of making sure all our settings are good. Uh, the next tab down on the left here is you want your encoding settings. So if you want to change the resolution, you can. Frame rate, you could do that as well. Um, refresh rate as well as if you, need, if you want to change it to H.264, H.265, you can do that as well. And then you can see that there's a lot of other options if you want to adjust, same with the audio. Uh, but the biggest thing is switching the stream type, which is going to be NDI. So I got our encoder, got the main encoder. There's going to be, there's also a substream if you're looking to do a secondary stream. But stream type, as you can see, there's a lot of options here. Today we're going to do NDI, really simple. I'm going to call, I'm going to change the NDI name. We'll just call this Adamo NDI test. That's going to be my NDI stream. I'm going to hit apply. Double that. I'm going to like to hit apply down here. Make sure oh, that's for the substream. All right. And that's how simple it is. And then I'm just going to toggle this on. And there we go. And one thing I like to do um, is just give it one more reboot just to make sure that the stream is set up perfectly. So I'm gonna just do this. I'm gonna go ahead and reboot it with it on. So go to your system tab here and go down. I think it went too far. Here we go, reboot. Hit okay. So I'm just gonna let, let it refresh here. I reboot it again, gotta log in again. Oop. Not enough zeros, one more, there we go. Okay, so we know that our NDI is going. You know that the stream is active when this gets whited out, you can't uh, turn it off, or it is on, excuse me. 
So let's go ahead and check our NDI stream. I'm just going to go use this NDI Studio tool, um, our NDI tool Studio Monitor. Pop that open. And I think it's, there it is, Stream E, Ad Adamo, NDI Tests, and boom. There is our NDI stream, our lovely photo of our house plant that's been sitting in that corner for many years. Actually, it's moved around, but it, it's old faithful there. And that's how easy it is to convert your camera, non-HDMI to NDI. So for instance, if you have a camera, you're looking to upgrade it to NDI, you don't wanna buy another camera, this device will do it for you. Um, really simple, just make sure everything's on the network, cables connected correctly uh, in HDMI and the input. Like I said, it's really straightforward. As always, if you have any questions or comments or feedback, leave them in the comments below. We'll love to hear from you and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. If you have any installations or uh, any issues, hit us up at support. We'll love to help you uh, get you along the way. If you have any questions about how this would be a great fit for your environment, reach out to any of our sales associates. I'm sure they'll love to talk to you about it. Uh, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to videos like these so you'll be notified when more videos like these will be released. And as always, have a great day.